Welcome back to Trends and Friends. It's Motivational Monday with Dr. Binks from Texas Tech's Nutrition and Metabolic Health Initiative. And last week we talked about strategies that can help you stay focused on your weight loss journey throughout those holidays and maybe even getting started before the holidays. Well, this week we're talking about what the importance is of counting those small wins to help you stay motivated on that journey. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. <laughs> you too. So, what? Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Obviously, counting the small wins. It's a philosophy I definitely live by. But where do we start with it? Well, I think it's it's really important to look at all the behavior that leads to health, mm -hmm. as opposed to just thinking about uh, you know the ultimate prize, which might be a weight loss goal that you have, and okay. so forth. Sure. Um, remembering that even with the weight loss goals, small steps. Mm -hmm. uh, like small changes in the scale are important, but they don't always go in a straight line. So if you really focus on, did I do my best today? Right. And how was I successful today? That really helps keep the motivation going. Very good. Well, and I hope I think it would help too to know or take a look at what those uh, strategies were that we talked about last week. So we've got a full screen up that we can talk about a little bit. But it's it's basically adjusting your mindset to stay active despite changes in the daylight right because we get on this path of not really wanting to do things when it's dark outside versus light outside um, keeping a focus of the value of our healthy eating patterns which we, you basically have already kind of talked about but it is really healthy and I mean it's important but it's important to stay healthy before we get to the crux of those times where you know that you already have the potential of gaining some weight like Thanksgiving mm -hmm. you know we yeah. get in the flow of having one meal but then we want to enjoy maybe two or three well, breaking that all or nothing mindset yeah. is really important before the holidays. So think about what you're doing leading up to them as practice. Because on Thanksgiving, it's easy to think, well, I'll next week, mm -hmm. like, I'll yeah. start being healthy again <laughs> next week. It, focus on the day to day. Did I do something active even though it was cold outside? Mm -hmm. And it might be that today you have to think about what those things might be. Right. And and as as the year progresses, that'll become more important, unfortunately. Exactly. Where it's going to be cold. So. Very true. Well, going back to counting the small wins, one thing that I do <laughs> is make sure that I, if I am weighing myself, and I'm not an everyday kind of weigher, but my husband does. I weigh every so often, mm -hmm. and when I see that loss, I definitely give myself a pat on the back. But I also, if I if I choose a healthy option versus like an unhealthy option, I definitely pat myself on the back for that too. How does that help us? Well, I think the most important point there is to not get into the healthy versus unhealthy okay. as much as did I make a better choice than my first urge. Smart. Right. Because like that's that. a win. It's a thinking. small win, but it's taking control yeah. of the situation. So. Perfection isn't the goal on a day-to-day -day basis. The goal is slightly better. Very true. Some I like days that. we get perfection. That's good. That's good advice. Different way of thinking. Thank you for that. All right. Coming up, we'll hear about a local report that's focused on women here in the Hub City. You don't want to miss it. Stay with us. <laughs> 